Hello everyone, and welcome back to Phantom Forces. We're kicking it off real strong on this one with somebody being uh, racist in chat and then getting immediately vote kicked for it. So, in we go. We're playing Flare Domination on Oil Rig. And I'm not exactly sure where the enemies spawned. Though I would assume in there, based on those tracers. And there's two. And down to capture this objective we go. So, having looked at my analytics and knowing that most people quit watching within around the first minute or two of my videos, I do want to go ahead and say that even if you do only watch the first minute or so, uh, God, that was atrocious aim, um, still, thank you. Uh, any and all views are great, and I appreciate it, and uh, yeah, just thank you very much for clicking on the video, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I say that as I uh, have my spine turned into lead. Uh, hmm. More racism in chat. It's great. I'm I'm looking at chat, not at the person shooting me in the face. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, anybody who watches these videos, even if it's only a minute or two, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And to anybody who drops a like or leaves a comment, a positive comment, um, thank you even more. Um, it, you know, it recently on my uh, Seven Days to Die video, I got a comment, uh, a positive comment, and. It just, like, it just put a smile on my face. It made me very happy. So, I appreciate it very much. Um, I know these probably aren't the best videos on the platform. They're definitely not. Not even close. But I am trying. And I will get better over time. Man, that was a unfortunate spawn. It was right above me here that I just died. I'm not sure if my teammates have handled that guy yet. Wow. heading up for a here all I could see was the top of that guy's helmet uh, but clearly he could see more of me so that was a fight that I really didn't want to take and I got stuck on that railing there and somehow even though I started the fight with 17 HP uh, I won it's a bit of a miracle I don't know why I'm peeking like that when I have so little HP Coming up. Oh. oh, well, this is difficult. That's an enemy over there. It's that guy that we saw down here decided not to come up this way. Surprising. Damn. Nice shot by this guy. I honestly can't believe I got that. I can't believe I got that either. I 
think there are a lot of enemies up here. Nope. Oh, teammate. I'm hearing footsteps all over the place. I guess it's all my teammates down below. I was pinched there. Shouldn't have pushed out so far. Got lasered. Think I'm gonna switch up what optic I am using here. No, not that one, not that. I think I'm gonna go back to the mini site because it's just got very nice small housing. Doesn't get in the way of my uh, vision very much. Ooh, muzzle brake. can't tell where all the footsteps are because everybody's on the same material like normally there's a bit of difference like one person will be on grass one person will be on concrete but everybody's j j pretty much on the same material here makes it hard to uh, figure out where exactly the enemy is and also since the map is so small it can be hard to tell friendly from enemy footsteps. Where did that guy go? Inside, I guess? Okay, those are definitely enemy footsteps. They have to be. Potato grip. <sighs> Had to stop for a second there. Scratch and itch. Been getting distracted quite a bit in this game. But I'm still near the top of my team. Jesus, man. Somebody just decided to dump an entire mag of an LMG over here. I say mag, it was probably a box, not a mag. Well. Would it still be accurate to call it a magazine? Because they are box magazines, so I guess it's not entirely inaccurate. Oh my god! I can't believe I was allowed to throw that grenade. Hit marker. Honestly, I lived way longer than I should have there. That was interesting. Come on. Up we go. I wasn't sure if that was an enemy, and I hesitated a little bit there, but then I remembered that there's no friendly fire. So, if there's any doubt, just light them up. If it's a teammate, you won't put a scratch on them. If it's an enemy, you will. And that's what you want. That wasn't very nice. That's also not very nice. That man wanted the melee. floor below. Nothing. 
That poor man was so far from anywhere he wanted to be. Oh, ooh. And I'm dead. I'm going to go ahead and throw on that muzzle brake there and see how that makes the gun feel. The horizontal recoil will be going up. Oh, but that's so worth it. I can actually see and keep my, uh, my... Keep my crosshair on target. It bounces left and right a little bit, but it's it's worth being able to keep eyes on the target. Rather than having my, uh... That's, that's an interesting M60. Um... As I was saying, it's it's be being able to keep the enemy in the side picture um, is worth the trade-off of a little bit of left and right uh, bounce. At least I think it is. I can't believe how long I live there. I was caught reloading. That guy watched me come in the window and everything. And yet, somehow, I almost killed both of them. Both of them. 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 I wish I could speak English. It's only my first language. I wasn't expecting to catapult out past the stairs. I was thinking I would land on the stairs there. Blue laser. I think that one has positive properties when it comes to uh, recoil control. Wait, was I capping from below? Well, I can't see now because team's already handled it. But that is something I will have to come back to. Hmm. I died before that guy did, and yet somehow I still got him. That guy hit me on a real tight angle. That was a good shot. You probably only see the top of my head. Damn. Alright, I am going to go ahead, go in here, and slap on that blue laser in the place of my red one and just see how it goes. See what it changes. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that might be a little better. I'm not positive. Oh, I need to check the uh, the stats on the potato grip and now the skeleton grip. Hmm. Weird that I'm picking up ammo from that VSS there because. Last time I checked, the HK-417 does not fire the same 9x39 uh, round as the VSS. But that's going to be the game there. So, uh, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and check those grips like I said I would. Hey, MVP. Um, and then I'm going to be ending the video. So, the skeleton grip will increase. It's just worse. Hold on. I can't be right. That's default. It's lowering both my accuracy and sight accuracy compared to the default, like if I had nothing. That's...
Kind of ridiculous. Oh, Potato Grip has a flashlight built in. Um, and then going between it and the angled grip. I guess the angled grip. Okay, the skeleton grip has uh, equip speed benefits. So I, so it impacts negatively impacts your handling and or not handling uh, your your accuracy and recoil. But you can I would assume ADS and uh, pull the weapon out faster, whereas the potato grip is just similar to the angled grip, I guess. Well, I think I'm going to be sticking with the angled. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.